Alma gathered a missionary team to go to the Zoramites because they were in spiritual trouble. The rich Zoramites would praise their own amazingness at church, and the rest of the week they ignored God. They also kicked the poor people out of their church. Those Zoramites approached the missionaries for help. How can we worship God if we can't even go inside the church? Don't limit your worship to just what happens on Sunday. And it might be a good thing that you've been kicked out. It's made you humble and open to experimenting with God's Word. God's Word is like a seed. When you plant a seed and nourish it, the seed becomes a tree that gives fruit. If we use God's Word to guide us, the positive changes that come into our lives will strengthen our faith in God. Growing trees and growing faith both require patience and diligence. Alma also reminded them that Zenos taught us to pray to God in all places. This is a simple thing, but simple things can save us, like when God used the ray serpent to heal the children of Israel. Amulek then taught that the law of Moses was pointing to Christ's atonement, and that his atonement would fulfill the law. The Zoramite believers went to live with the Ammonites who welcomed them. The remaining Zoramites were angry, and they wrote to the Ammonites, telling them not to help the Zoramite converts. When the Ammonites continued to welcome the refugees, the vengeful Zoramites teamed up with the Lamanites to attack the Ammonites. The Ammonites were moved, and the Nephite army prepared for an attack from the combined Lamanite-Zoramite army. If you're looking for a kid and youth-friendly telling of the DNC this next year, check out my LEGO comic book. You can find it by searching on Amazon, Bricks of Faith by Dan Butler.